October 1st, the place of exaltation. Jesus took them up on a high mountain apart by themselves. Mark 9, verse 2. We have experienced times of exaltation on the mountain, when we have seen things from God's perspective and have wanted to stay there. But God will never allow us to stay there. The true test of our spiritual life is in exhibiting the power to descend from the mountain. If we only have the power to go up, something is wrong. It is a wonderful thing to be on the mountain with God, but a person only gets there so that he may later go down and lift up the demon-possessed people in the valley. See Mark 9, verses 14 through 18. We are not made for the mountains, or sunrises, or for other beautiful attractions in life. Those are simply intended to be moments of inspiration. We are made for the valley and the ordinary things of life, and that is where we have to prove our stamina and strength. Yet, our spiritual selfishness always wants repeated moments on the mountain. We feel that we could talk and live like perfect angels if only we could stay on the top of the mountain. Those times of exaltation are exceptional, and they have their meaning in our life with God. But we must beware to prevent our spiritual selfishness from wanting to make them the only time. We are inclined to think that everything that happens is to be turned into useful teaching. In actual fact, it is to be turned into something even better than teaching, namely, character. The mountaintop is not meant to teach us anything. It is meant to make us something. There is a terrible trap in always asking, what's the use of this experience? We can never measure spiritual matters in that way. The moments on the mountaintop are rare moments. They are meant for something in God's purpose.